Hi all, uh, same hotel, same room. This hotel is fabulous, just so you know, I'm not telling you the name because it's my hotel in central London. The staff are brilliant, they know what's going on um, because I'm telling everybody, because that's me. Um, so they carry my bag up, they give me the quietest room and they're looking after me, which is absolutely wonderful. So, um, CT scan results. I'm delighted to say that um, I got a letter um, from the consultant to say they brought my results forward. So instead of waiting for two weeks, I waited for just a week. Um, so we went in to Northampton General Hospital, me and my partner, Karina, and we sat in the waiting room. Our appointment was 3.30 and we sat and we heard plenty of other uh, patients waiting for results, arguing with all the staff because they were running behind, because they always do apparently, because they're busy people. And we waited for two hours um, it's amazing how much rubbish you can talk about in two hours and how much fun you can have observing other people's behaviour. It's a bit like kind of going shopping when you just do observing of shopping. When you don't go shopping at all, you just have a nosy about everybody else and have that kind of, oh, look what she's wearing, look what they bought, how much they spent kind of thing. So we did that for two whole hours. Um, I was fully hydrated because I kept going to the water machine just to occupy myself, up to keep going to the loo. But anyway... Two hours to wait for a decision as to whether the CT scan had said the cancer had spread throughout the rest of my body or whether it had stayed under my um, in my limbs, in my armpit. So the consultant comes in, who did the operation, uh, he looks exhausted. This is now 5.30 on a Friday evening and he says the results, your CT scan, are clear. Oh, said sorry. He repeats it and then does a huge yawn and you'll get me now. I just, the only way I cope is with humour. So my humour was, am I keeping you awake? And bless him, he just started laughing and it was such a relief because obviously he's probably spent the whole day telling people such news and maybe not as good news as mine's been. So he had a bit of a giggle, we had a giggle, just pure relief. Um, so it hasn't spread, um, but still serious, but it hasn't spread. It's all taken out, so it's gone from my breast, it's gone from my nodes in my armpits, and now it's moving as quickly as we can to chemo once um, every three weeks, but we have to see the oncologist first. So I'm now in the process of waiting to see the oncologist, which will either be in um, five days from seeing the consultant, um or two weeks so it just depends on when we we get the appointment as soon as we get to see the oncologist my understanding is once they've done the the check of us um medically they might require some more tests but after that uh we start treatment on chemo um so what a relief um so so relieved you you wouldn't believe um and delighted and as again you don't quite know what to say the consultant leaves the room only, and after about a minute of talking to you, and then you have the lovely Kath, the lovely, lovely Kath to talk to us about what it actually means and next steps. Um, and I think I think they're the main things. Um, the amusing bit really is there is so much information and I have to say it's brilliant. The, the, the way that they deal with it is absolutely fantastic. So the lovely Kath pops out and gets some leaflets for us about um, wigs, um, you should get a free wig, uh, which is fantastic. You get a free wig just in case your hair drops out, which is highly likely. There's information about cold caps and all this kind of business. And if you didn't know, there's also a service um, on a, a makeup masterclass. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's called um, LGFG. Now, if you figured out me, you'll know that I'm LGBT plus. So it's a very similar and I'm very slightly dyslexic. So when she said there was an LFGVPT, I thought, oh, great. No, it's, it's a it's a masterclass on makeup. And um, Karina and I were in hysterics because I think in all my life, I've never worn makeup whatsoever. But the lovely calf thought I might want to go to a masterclass. So, yeah, that was quite funny. Um, even more funny because of the scenario we were in. So I've got the leaflet. Um, it tells me all about this makeup business that you're supposed to do and routine and things that you need to take to the class with you. So I've taken out a bank loan. I'm probably going to pop to Boots to get all this concealer, come moisturiser, come liner or stuff. I ain't got a clue what they're talking about and then go to this masterclass because I think that could be some funny material for us. Don't get me wrong. Some people, you you know, will wear makeup and look fantastic. It's not me. Um, but I think it might be quite funny anyway, but maybe it's not the right thing to do that. So 
Good news, I've rabbited on a bit. Um, we're clear. We just need to start zapping it. Tough times ahead. I know chemo and radio is tough, but great news anyway. Anyway, catch up with you soon. Bye.